with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso. It's a mild, clear day, so the weather won't be a factor in this battle between the Washington Huskies and the Rebels of Ole Miss. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Rebels. The Huskies haven't been buying the underdog hype, which should make for a great game today. Kurt? Ole Miss looks a little overpowering in this one. And I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete. And Lee, I think you'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. I know everyone has been waiting. It's time for my pick. I'm picking Ole Miss. Both teams have sent their special teams onto the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Short kickoff. Pope takes it at the 14. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Coach, you got to talk to this quarterback before the game. How do you think he's going to play today? This quarterback isn't just going to have a good game. He's going to torture this people. Whoa, whoa, Coach. You're really expecting big things from this kid. You bet I am. This secondary has a lot of holes in it, and they should be able to just pick it apart today. They line up at the 32. It's second and 10. The Huskies come out in the shotgun. Brown is back to pass. Brought down at the 37. And the defense is on it. The receiver should have held on to that. Now, coaches hate to see turnovers anytime, especially fumbles by a receiver. And half the time, those guys are out there showboating, holding the ball with one hand. Can you believe it? Now, you can bet the next time he touches the ball, he better use both hands. Ole Miss sets up in the eye. They'll give it off here. He's tackled at the 34. I'd say he got one or two feet on that try. From the 34-yard line, second down. The Rebels line up in an eye formation. Rodgers with the tackle at the 33-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. They line up at the 33. Third down. Adai lines up as a single back. Back to pass. Here comes the pressure. Manning is going to be sacked for a loss. The protection just broke down there. I'll tell you, though, Kirk, it's hard to keep this end away from the quarterback. Yeah, they're going to have to. Otherwise, this quarterback's going to get drilled out there. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. This one 57 yards away. This to try to put his team up by a field goal. It's up. And this is no good. He didn't have the leg. They'll, They'll go to work the at the 39. 39-yard line. First and 10. Brown drops back to pass. He lets it go. That's incomplete. He should have had that one, guys. Well, that's a lack of concentration, don't you think, Coach? Oh, you bet it is. And he'll be reminded of that on the sideline for sure. Second From their own 39-yard line, the 39 it's second line. down. Browning comes to the line with three wide. And they make the stop at the 46. A seven-yard run by the running back. Third down and three coming up. Ball on their own 46. Washington comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Browning with the play fake. They connect again. And down he goes at the 29. What an amazing catch, first down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big-time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. First We've got ten. a first and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Three wideouts here. Play fake. Feeling the pressure. Not a pretty pass right there. No, it wasn't, Kirk. That was not a good pass at all. But, hey, in his defense, he had to get it off to avoid the sack. 
Second, Second down and 10 to go. On the 29 yard line. Dillon, the lone back. Browning drops to throw. Throw short, and it's the senior. And he's tackled at the 17 yard line. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. Washington comes out with three receivers, but Brown will throw. Oh, they're going to hand it off. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. One man backfield. Great job by the defensive lineman here to get a paw on him and put him to the turf. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Washington lines up in a shotgun set. So a running play on third and long nets them very little yardage. Now you can't do that when you're losing a ball game. Now's the time to take your shots downfield. Yeah, now is not the time to test their run defense. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. The Huskies go with the eye formation. He gets rid of it. He catches another. Booth with a takedown at the six. And they're building some great momentum on this drive, guys. That's right, Brad. That was a crisp pass by the quarterback, and they're looking pretty good moving the ball right now. There you have it, folks. They really earned it out there today. Washington comes out of the shotgun. Across the middle. Can't hang on. Incomplete. Pratt was the intended receiver on that pass, so that'll make it second down. From the six-yard line. Second down, goal to go. One man backfield. Fakes to the back. He gets the pass away. And he tackles him hard at the one. What an interception. That couldn't have come at a better time for the defense. And it couldn't have come at a worse time for the other guys. This turnover might be the decider. The offense will take over at the one-yard line. Avery is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Avery takes a handoff. Whoa, he just took a licking. The back hits three on the carry. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. Going with the shotgun here. And they make the stop at the four. Avery gets about a yard on the play. That'll bring up third down. They line up at the four. We've got a third and six. Ole Miss sets up in the eye. Steps up across the middle. Incomplete. Oh, man. He just overthrew him that time. Yeah, he just missed his man. Good play call. Bad pass. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. You can bet the punter sweating to have to kick this one from his own end zone. He punts it. Number 27, field 46. What do you guys think this offense has to do to get their team back in this game? A field goal is out of the question. This offense needs to get the ball into the end zone. Yep, this is four down football, and there is not much time left in the game, so this will be most likely their last chance to score. The Huskies line up in an eye formation. Throw short, got it to the senior. Washington just took their first time out. Second down and six to go. Single set back to you. Browning drops back. He fires this one. Catches it. Tackle at the 27-yard line. Talk about a throw. Does this kid have an arm or what? I'm telling you, this thing is like a laser beam coming out of his hand. Boy, you're right. What a cannon this young man's got. First down, 10 to go. 
Washington lines up in a bunch formation. Stepping up, throwing left. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. At the 40, down the sideline. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Tigers of Missouri. Well folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Tigers. The Crimson Tide should have their way with this team. Irby, why don't you tell us about their star? Alabama is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. I'm just not going to agree, Kirk. I'll guarantee it. I'm taking him. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. And it's a short kickoff. Temple fields at the 17. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Guys, who do you think we have to keep an eye on today? Watch out. This defensive end is going to make the biggest impact on this game. He'll be lined up against a left tackle who just isn't good enough to block Coach, him. I agree with you 100%. This guy is good. He plays at a magnificent level. And I don't think they're going to be able to stop him today. Second down. Ball on the 40-yard line. Missouri comes out in the shotgun. Daniel drops back. He's on the run. Good open field tackle. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. First foul. Dropping the pass. Man, that was First close. Down. It looked like his momentum just carried him to the quarterback. That was definitely a late hit. He could have easily got out of the way. Instead, he just ran right through him. The Tigers come out in the shotgun. Daniel hands it off. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. Second and 11. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Tiger set up in the gun. Gaddis takes the handoff. Oh, man, did he take a hit. He picks up a yard on the play. It's third and ten. Daniel is back in the gun. He drops back. Toss is short. And this one falls incomplete. He was wide open, guys. They missed a big opportunity on this play. He had a guy open, but he just couldn't get him the ball. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. From 51 yards away. Missouri is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's long enough. They block it. So he's still back to pass. Number 12 passes complete, and he tackles him hard at the 28-yard line. No to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. He drops back, throws this one out to the left. It's intercepted. He's got some blockers. He's tackled at the 46. That interception could change the whole face of this game. One thing about this interception, it couldn't have come at a better time for this football team. Now all they need to do is get some points on the board. The offense will start at the 46-yard line. Missouri lines up with three receivers. Surveys the field. It's deflected. 
Heck of an effort by the defensive back to knock that pass down. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see. His kids reacting when the ball is in the air and then making the play. Right. Second and ten. Second and ten. The Tigers come out showing three wide. Throws. And it's incomplete. Kirk. Yeah, Coach. Did you see that drop pass? Yeah, but it's safe to say that he heard footsteps, don't you think? I mean, the defender almost got there at the same time as the football. All right. Well, the correct answer is yes, he did drop the football. Come on, sweetheart. The quarterback is trying to get you the ball. you got to make those kind of plays out there. Got it. To the 20. He's all the way down to the 15. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. Yep, I think I would start to double cover this kid. He's just too dangerous. They're threatening inside the 20. The offense gets set as they attempt to put an end to these red zone blues. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Yeah, that did not look pretty. There you have it, folks. They really earned it out there today. Missouri comes out in the shotgun. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He just went right through him. Man, who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. They'll line it up again on third down. The Tiger set up in the gun. Daniel drops to throw. Let's it fly. Into coverage, and the defense has it. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. The offense will take over at the 26. Ingram, the lone back. They'll throw on first down. Down the middle. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Well, coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. They line up at the 33. Second down, three yards to go. Alabama lines up with three receivers. Darts it to the right. It's deflected. How about that defense? Well, that's why he's on the field, to make plays like that. Looks like someone went a little too far with the celebration. Unsportsmanlike conduct. 15 yard penalty. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48 yard line. Looks to pass. He unloads it. Finds his receiver. Brought down at the 34-yard line. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get open between the zone coverage. The Tide line up with a single set back to you. Play action. He snags it, and he's tackled right away. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. First of the Walking the pass. Automatic. First down. So they'll move him back after the penalty. I bet that one has the fans steaming. Now that wasn't a very bright play by that young man. You can bet that the fans aren't the only ones unhappy. His coaches don't look too happy either. Alabama comes out of the shotgun. He steps up. He guns it to the left. Got his man. Touchdown. What a huge touchdown. I can't believe that they're able to grab the lead with almost no time left on the clock. That was a perfect lesson in clock management. They got into the end zone, and barring a small miracle, they will win this game. They're setting up for the PAT. He makes the PAT. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Alabama, 14, Missouri, 7. Number three, ready to kick. And this one's a short kick. Number 23, fields it at the 19. Guys, what are you thinking at this point in the game? This is obviously a big possession. 
They have to get the ball in the end zone right here. And this is their last opportunity, Kirk. If they don't score here, then they can call it a night. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 29. The Tigers line up with five receivers. Steps up, looking across the middle. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. The Tigers call a timeout, and that was their first timeout. From their own 36-yard line. Second and three coming up. The Tiger come out showing three wide. Looking to throw. This one is incomplete. I think the pressure forced that miscue, guys. here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreit and the coach Lee Corso. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Rebels of Ole Miss. Well we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here come the Rebels. The Rebels look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? The same thing, Kirk? Alabama will win this football game on the legs of their running back. He's got that rare combination of power and speed. Look for the offensive line to overpower him up front, and he'll have a big game running the football. i got to go with the favorite in this one. I'm taking Bama. Alabama is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He sends it downfield. Lamb takes it at the 21. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. This defense has some talent across the board, but the player to watch will be sitting on the end of this front four. Let me say this, he'll get your attention. I just don't think these offensive tackles are good enough to keep this guy in check for four quarters. I don't think so either, Kirk. You can't stop him. You just have to hope that your lineman can hold him up long enough for the quarterback to get the ball off. Because if you don't, oh man, it's going to be a long day for this quarterback. Ole Miss comes out of the shotgun, out back to pass, got hit as he threw. That reception good for seven yards. They line up at the 41. We get third and three here. They line up in the jumbo set. Nice play fake. Throwing left. To the middle, it's his tight end. Everybody was fooled on that one. And that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. You're right, Kirk. Those guys are swarming to where they think the ball is, then whoosh, the ball is flying over their heads. First down, 10 yards to go. They line up at the 50. They use four linebackers. Thomas tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Nowhere to go on that play, coach. Boy, you're absolutely right, Brad. 
This is a great job by the defense in not giving him any room to create anything. They line up at the 47. Second and 13 coming up here. The Rebels line up with a single setback to him. Manning will hand it off. No place to go that time, and the offense loses a yard or two. Nice job of plugging up all the gaps in the possible cutback lanes by the defense. They'll line it up again on third down. Three-man front defensively. He drops back. Stepping up. It is he throws. Got it. He's all the way down to the 29-yard line. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. It's first and 10. The Rebels line up in an eye formation. Thomas tackles him for a loss on the play. This is a heads-up play by the linebacker. He's playing run and had his eyes on the guy carrying the football from the get-go. Good defensive play. Second it's second and 11. And 11. This is the eighth play of this drive. They use four linebackers. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. Found his man. Hey, coach, was that a fine pass play or what? <laughs> or what is right? This young man is a complete package of quarterback. He knows where his receivers will be, and he gets a quick release to them in a big, big hurry. Right, so the kicking team will line up for the point after. Get the two. Ole Miss to kick this one off. Short kickoff. Jones fields it at the 13. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. They'll go to work at the 32. First and 10. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. Ingram gets the call. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32. One man backfield. Brown with the tailback. What a collision. Man, I sure wouldn't want to be hit by that kid. That's not baby fat on him anymore. He weighs 300 pounds plus. I don't know if I'd be calling him a kid. Well, I'm not the one out there taking the hits either, my friend. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 32. Number 12 is back in the gun. Back to pass. Swings it out to his man on the screen. Ha! Tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. That was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. 10. Ball on the 26. Alabama comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Ingram up the gut. Ha! Brings him down for a loss. They try to counter Trey there, but the defense read it nicely. It's amazing the read and recognition skills of these linebackers. They just always seem to have a beat on the play. That's what time and practice would bring you, Kirk. They line up at the 23. It's second down. The Tide come out in the ace formation. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Third down. Alabama lines up for the shotgun set. Green pass. And it's caught. Excellent open field tackle. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. The Crimson Tide are lining up to punt it away. Day awaits the snap. He gets it off. Pasco fields it at the 40. What do you expect from this offense at this point, fellas? I think they need to play it very aggressive here. 
Forget about the field goal in overtime. They need to win this game right now. I agree, Coach. This game is in the offense's hands. I think they have enough time to move the ball down the field and put it in the end zone. I certainly wouldn't want this game heading to overtime if I were on offense right now. No game. Second and ten. The Rebel set up in the gun. Manning steps back to pass. Got him again. And he's all the way down to the 23-yard line. How about that play? Well, this is a great play. And this is a play that we saw them practice all week. Yeah, this is an area where the coach had felt they might have some success. When this defense blitzes like they do here, that leaves them in some one-on-one -on -one situations. And they took advantage of it right here. The Rebel, with four receivers, steps up in the pocket. He unloads it. It's complete. Didn't get anything. They line up at the 23. It's second and 10. Alabama lines up defensively at the 3-4. And he's taken down at the 20. The back gets three on the carry. Third it's third down. Seven. Ole Miss has to do something. It's 9-6. Third and seven at the 20. Manny, he's going to throw. Manny, up the guy. He's got arms for a touchdown. Ole Miss, unbelievable. They have the lead. They don't have that in life because of injury, but they got the lead. What a job he has done. Unbelievable. Old Miss. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Ole Miss 13, Alabama 9. Ole Miss lines up for the kickoff. Ingram and Jones set to return. Kicks off. Jones fields it at the 13. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? This is obviously a big possession. They have to get the ball in the end zone right here. And this is their last opportunity, Kirk. If they don't score here, then they can They'll call it a night. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. They come out with three wide receivers. Steps up. He delivers. Caught. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. Alabama will call a timeout. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle win. Alabama will take their second time out of the hat. We've got a first and 10. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. 